Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk to you about the importance of seeking beauty. If you ask me, I believe one of the contributing factors to why so many modern people are unhappy is because we don't value beauty as much as our ancestors used to, even as recently as like a few hundred years ago. We've kind of now started focusing on function over form, and with that there's less beauty in the world. And I believe we're greatly underestimating the impact that beauty has on our lives. There have already been a few studies done that show that there is a bit of a link between happiness and beauty, that the more people surround themselves with what they define as beautiful things, it makes them happier and it reduces their stress and anxiety. And there's also an aspect of beauty that, in my opinion, provides a lot of meaning for our lives because Beauty just has this way of touching us that not many other things do. It impacts us. And we all kind of have an idea of how it does that, right? I mean, well, it's kind of difficult to dis define beauty and even in some cases describe it in other things, but we all pretty much have an idea of what beauty means to us when something is beautiful to us. But think about this. When something is truly beautiful, how does it make you feel? How does it impact you? That right there is why it's so important to strive to surround yourself with more beauty because it just has this way of creating meaning in our lives. If you ask me, I don't even believe that being alive is worth it in the absence of beauty. If all the beauty was stripped in the immediate world and my immediate surroundings and there was no way of getting it back, I would probably look around and be like, why am I here? <laughs> like, what's the point of being alive then if there's no beauty? Because, heck, even when I meditate every night before going to bed, one of the things that I say I'm grateful for besides just, you know, existing is that I'm grateful to be able to witness all the beauty in the world. Because to me, it's just so freaking important the way it provides meaning in our lives. Beauty is just something that we should never act like we'd be better off without. So I guess my whole point with this video is that you should realize just how impactful beauty is and strive to surround yourself with more of it in your life. Whether that means literally moving to somewhere that has more natural beauty, because cities certainly don't have a whole lot. So I mean, oh man, focusing so much on function over form has not done us any favors in terms of surrounding ourselves with more beauty in cities. I mean, I live in LA, but not LA City, but whenever I drive into LA City, I can't help but look around and think about how ugly it is. You have all these tall buildings, these gaudy, rich-looking structures, but there's no beauty behind them. They're all boxy-looking or geometrical shapes, and there just isn't architecture that kind of speaks to you, that draws you or draws your attention towards it. It's more so just ugliness and especially the colors. I mean, a lot of the buildings in LA are like some shade of gray or black and they're just not attractive to look at. So I, I've never really felt at home in cities for that reason because I've just always instinctively known that they lack beauty nowadays. Cities back in the day were certainly different because, I mean, humanity favored beauty for quite some time, even as recently as like probably the 1800s. But I guess, huh, come to think of it, it's probably the Industrial Revolution that messed us up because that's when we started focusing on function over form and mass producing things. And after some point in time, you start realizing you make more profits when you start moving away from beauty because the more you try to make something beautiful, it usually requires some design elements that mean a bit more money or even just the research behind designing it to be beautiful will cost you money. So if you just purely focus on function, you save money. So that's basically the route the entire world has gone. We focus on saving money, which means focusing only on function, which means losing beauty. And it's really unfortunate because I truly believe this absence of beauty is impacting all of us on a, a psychological level. It's making us probably have like existential angst that we wouldn't otherwise have. I mean, think about this. It's crazy to even realize, but a lot of people living in cities, when they look up, they don't even see the stars anymore. 
that was like one of the earliest forms of beauty that humans got to witness. And it had so much beauty and meaning behind it that it made humanity wonder what the hell we were doing here. It made us kind of realize how special it is that we exist. Because as soon as we realize that all those stars out there are literally like basically other suns, it, it made us go, holy crap, there's all of that out there and we're here. Whoa, that's trippy because if all that other stuff is out there as well, I wonder what the hell else is out there and how do we exist to witness this and why are we on this planet here? And, you know, it just brings up so many questions that it kind of adds a ton of meaning to our lives. But if you live in a city, I mean, I've met some people who have never seen the Milky Way when they look up. Now, obviously, if you live in the Southern Hemisphere, I guess you have your own equivalent of that. But yeah, people who don't see, they haven't seen a full night sky with stars everywhere. Every time that I go somewhere that's like a, I think they call them, what is it, like a, I forget the exact term, but there's like, there's some term for places where there's not a lot of light pollution. So when you look up, you can actually see the stars. And every time I go to one of those places, it's incredible. When, when you look up, you can just get, it's like, you can just basically stare up at the sky for hours just looking at all but taking it all in there's so much beauty in it and it brings up so many questions now obviously the stars are a different example from a lot of other sources of beauty because the stars are they link us to the universe and everything within it and that certainly brings up a lot of questions about our existence but even the beauty in nature on this planet is something that's just incredible i mean if you've ever been to a national park, for those of you who live in the US, or maybe if you've traveled to the US, if you've ever been to Yellowstone or Yosemite or some of the other beautiful parks that we have here, some of them have so much natural beauty that when you go there, it's, it's almost like cathartic. You start losing your stress and anxiety and you're able to just sit in that beauty, just admire it and take it all in. And it has a huge impact on us. So. Beauty truly is an important thing that we should all strive to surround ourselves with more. Whether that means moving somewhere else or, well, that's usually what it will mean, I guess. But yeah, don't be afraid to move somewhere that has more beauty. I truly believe you'll get more out of that than living somewhere where, yeah, you'll make more money probably. But if you're not happy while doing that, what's the point? Like if you spend your whole life chasing money, but you never chase meaning along with it, I don't know if that's worth it in my opinion. And at some point I will strive to get out of the LA area because I'm just not as happy here as I could be somewhere else that has more beauty. I mean, I love the ocean, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful thing and I will really hate to give that up. But I just don't like being somewhere with so much infrastructure. That's a problem with areas that have a huge population. They have to build up so much infrastructure to accommodate all the people living there that naturally the place just becomes more and more ugly over time because all the roads are paved and you have all these massive buildings and you have to cut down all the trees in the area to build everything up so there's less green and it just it sucks. I don't like living in areas with big populations because they naturally are just a bit less beautiful unless those people actually make beauty a priority. But very few places seem to do that nowadays. So it's just something that's kind of rare in big cities for the most part. So yeah, this is something to think about in your own life. And this video is getting kind of long, but before I end it, I do want to bring up beauty in other people because this is another aspect of beauty. It's not something that solely exists in nature and whatnot. It also can exist in other human beings. And it doesn't, I, I'm not talking just about physical beauty because certainly a lot of people have that. What I more so mean is when someone is beautiful as a whole, when they are a beautiful person through and through, both their appearance and their personality together because I've met some beautiful people on the outside who were rather ugly on the inside and that internal ugliness affected their outer beauty and made them less beautiful. So beauty needs to be all encapsulating but if you can find people who have that overall beauty both the outside and the inside aim to surround yourself with people like that as well because they too will impact your life. 
maybe even more so than nature can in some cases, because I mean, relationships truly are one of the most important things for us humans. We are social creatures, no matter how you try to slice it, that's in our biology. We thrive together. If you try to go survive on your own in like a forest somewhere without any other people around you, you are not going to enjoy yourself. It's going to be very lonely. So we are social creatures. So strive to surround yourself with beautiful people too. But remember, like I said, they need to be beautiful both on the inside and outside, not just the outside. Somebody having a ton of external beauty doesn't mean much because if their personality sucks, they aren't going to add much to your life. I've certainly met a lot of people like that. I've met women who were just incredibly beautiful on the outside, but once they started talking and revealed snippets of their personality, I didn't want to spend another moment around them. So you really have to make sure, and if anything, I would say internal beauty matters more than external beauty because somebody who's got that internal beauty can impact you in such incredible ways that it's hard to put into words. Like, it really is. There's something I've talked about it in past videos, but when a woman is in tune with that beauty, that like, I, and one of my um, mentors, who I've never actually met, but I looked him as a mentor, Zan Perrion, he wrote one of my favorite books, and he just has an incredible philosophy of beauty. He often says that women can all have access to this kind of essence of beauty, but not every woman's in tune with it, even though they all have the capability to basically become in tune with it, but not all of them are. And unfortunately, a lot of modern women probably are kind of losing touch with that essence of beauty that they all could otherwise access. And men are probably suffering from something similar. I mean, men are certainly losing touch with whatever our essence of beauty equivalent would be, maybe like a masculine essence, I don't know, whatever it would be, men are losing that too. But when a woman is in tune with that essence of beauty, she can touch other people's lives, both men and women, in such incredible ways that, if you ask me, that's like one of the most incredible things on the planet. A woman who's in tune with her beauty. And I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, that's the best way I can describe it is borrowing from Zan Perignon because, yeah, I think he's somewhat right with the essence of beauty idea because I, I don't know how else to describe it. But I mean, th that term works, essence of beauty. But when a woman's in tune with that, it's just incredible how she can touch other people's lives around her because there will just be this kind of like gentleness and this caring, this empathy behind her. That's where like a woman can ask you how you're feeling when she's a stranger, you're passing on the street and you know when she asks you it, she actually cares about your answer. And that, that alone can kind of make you stop in your tracks and go like, what the, <laughs> this stranger actually cares about me, somebody they don't even know? It's, it's really, it's something. So yeah, just strive to surround yourself with more beauty in general, both in your immediate environment, definitely don't be afraid to move somewhere with more beauty because I truly believe it'll add so much to your life that any risks of doing it will probably over time be completely wiped out by just the happiness that you'll get from being there and aim to surround yourself with beautiful people too. That one's certainly harder to do than just moving, of course, because Beautiful people are rare, but when you find them, hold on to them. But anyway, guys, that's all I have for you. Don't want to make this video too long. It's already really long, but beauty is just, it's an important topic. I think that the world needs to discuss it more, especially because we're moving away from it so much. And I certainly don't believe that that's helping anyone on this planet. Beauty is just, it adds so much meaning to our lives that we really shouldn't be going down this road of forgetting it. It's, it's not good. But anyway, if you like content like this, be sure to subscribe for more. Otherwise, like the video. That's the easiest way you can help me out and help that algorithm because otherwise I can't fight it on my own. <laughs> I, need, I need your help to, to boost it. But um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm especially curious about, or I want to hear your thoughts on beauty and maybe how you define beauty or how it impacts you because I think we'll all have different definitions or answers for these questions because it is a very personal thing, but anyway, I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember, we're all on this journey together. So the most important thing is that you just keep going, keep moving forward, and keep aiming to surround yourself with more beauty. You certainly won't regret it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Arrivederci!